Hey, what's up guys? It's Tech Infusion, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to achieve a super clean green screen key in After Effects. Let's jump right in. I'd like to start by thanking Wondershare for making this video possible. I've been using the Wondershare Demo Creator software to record my tutorials, and this is definitely the best and easiest solution to recording and capturing your screen. The interface is super easy to use and it takes less than a minute to get set up and start recording your first video. You have options to change what parts of the screen you record, settings for your microphone and computer audio, and then once you're done recording, there's an entire editor with built-in titles, effects, transitions, and even more. So whether you're creating instructional videos, presentation videos, or even gaming videos, Wondershare Demo Creator has you covered. It's available on both Mac and PC. Right now they're offering 20% off a lifetime license, and if you use my link and coupon in the description below, you can get an additional 10% off. If you've been looking for a reliable, affordable, and easy to use screen recorder, look no further than Wondershare Demo Creator. All right, let's get back to the video. So we already have our green screen footage in a composition here. The first step that we need to do is go over to our effects and presets window. If you don't see this window, go up to window in your menu bar and click on effects and presets. So now search the effects and presets window for key. Then we're gonna select this option that says key light plus key cleaner plus advanced spill suppressor. Just go ahead and click and drag that onto your footage. So now over in the effects control panel, you can see all these parameters that we can adjust to try to key out this green in our footage. The first thing that we need to do in this effect is select this eyedropper next to screen color, and then take this over to our footage and select our green color of our green screen. What we're doing here is telling the key light effect the exact color of our green screen, because it really depends on how you light your green screen, or maybe you have a blue screen. So basically you're just telling this is the color of green that I want you to get rid of. You can see that it already did such a great job from just clicking one button. However, that's because it was really lit well, but I'm gonna go in and kind of show you what you'll have to do if you don't have a well lit green screen. But even with this type of key, it helps kind of clean it up. So go over to this view drop down option here. And on this, we're just gonna select screen matte. What this is gonna do is show you a black and white version of your footage. The black is what's getting keyed out and the white is what it's leaving. So the goal here is to kind of clean this up. You either want full black or full white. You don't want these gray artifacts in between. So you'll see this gray noise on the left of our footage here, and I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that. Go back over to the effects controls window and drop down this screen matte option. We're going to only be adjusting a few parameters under this. We're gonna be messing with clip black and clip white. Basically, as I slide clip black up here, you can see that it's getting rid of all the noise in this black area. You may be asking why it's important to get rid of that noise. Well, again, anything that's black is gonna be keyed out and anything that's white is gonna be left. So that means if we have any gray in our footage, that's just gonna be noise that's overlaid on top of our background, which makes it a super dirty key and kind of ruins the entire green screen effect. Now, keep in mind, you can definitely go too far on the clip black option. So you really only wanna raise it just as high as you need to. So once you get all of the noise out of the black areas, go ahead and check the white areas to make sure that there's no gray left in that either. As you can see here in my footage, I do have a little bit of noise in my white, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this clip white option back just a little bit until I see that starting to disappear. And again, because this was such a well-lit green screen scene, mine's not gonna be near as bad as yours might be. So you're gonna have to tweak these settings quite a bit more to try to kind of find that perfect balance of how much black that you clip and how much white that you clip out. All that being said, once you have a clean screen mat that looks kind of like this, where you don't really see any detail or gray noise left, you can go ahead and go back to that intermediate result view. Once we've done all of that, you can see that our key is starting to look really good. Another thing I do like to do is go back to that screen shrink grow option and just back it off by like minus one. What this does is kind of like narrows in your mask a little bit and it kind of gets rid of just the borderline edge of your key. So if there's any artifacts or noise left over, it kind of just gets rid of those and helps kind of clean it up. However, again, you don't want to go too far with this option because you can see that it starts to shrink down my entire subject and you also don't want to raise it because you kind of get this weird green border. So minus one is usually what I go to, but you may have to tweak for your specific scene. Let's go ahead and zoom into our footage to see how good our edge is looking because usually with a green screen, if you've ever worked with them before, you know that it typically leaves a green halo around them, which is definitely undesirable. And as you can see here, my footage is no exception. There is definitely a little bit of green, but because we added that key light plus the key cleaner plus the advanced spill suppressor effect, we have over in our effects control window, another effect that is actually disabled by default, which is the advanced spill suppressor. And this thing will work wonders on these edge green halos that we see here in our footage. As you can see, this effect is in fact disabled by default. 
you can see whether or not an effect is enabled or disabled by this little effects icon that's next to the effect name. So we're just going to go ahead and click in this box and this will enable the effect. And now that I've enabled it, you can already see that it's helped quite a bit with our edge and kind of desaturated that green halo around him. Now, if you see anything left over, you can go back up to that shrink and grow section and just take it down another percent. I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. Now, one more option that you can turn on that sometimes helps, and I'll just turn it on here, is this reduce chatter option. And what this will do is kind of like smooth those edges out and get rid of any more additional artifacts you may be having in your footage. Okay, so now that we have our final keyed effect, let's go ahead and add a background layer in and see how it looks. And that looks really good. However, to really sell any green screen effect, you always have to apply some type of color correction. And then you also kind of want to mess around with maybe a blur on the background to make it look a little bit more realistic. So with my background layer selected, I'm just going to go ahead and go over to the effects and presets window and search for a fast blur. And then we can just go ahead and add this onto our background layer. And here you really don't want to go overkill with the blur because it will start to look fake very quickly. However, because the way a camera works, you would naturally have a little bit of blur in your background. So here you really just want to tweak it slightly just so you get that natural look. Again, if you go overkill, it's going to look fake. So I'm just going to go very slight here, like five to 10. I'm also going to apply a quick levels control on my background layer so I can bring down the highlights a little bit and make my subject pop out of the background. I also mentioned doing some color correction and typically you want to color correct your green screen subject to match your background. So I'm just going to go back to my green screen layer here and then add a Lumetri color effect to this. And then I'm just going to go up to white balance and bring it to be a little bit warmer so that it kind of matches the warmer tone of this background. Something like that is good. And if I disable and re-enable this effect, you can see that it warms up the footage and kind of blends it in with the background more. Now there's a few more things that you could do to sell this entire green screen look. I'll show you one of them, which is called a light wrap. It's actually a super useful technique to kind of take the background image and portray it around the edge of your green screen subject to kind of blend it in even more. So let's go ahead and select our green screen layer and right click on it and hit pre-compose. I'm just gonna name it green screen and then it's important that you move all the attributes into the new composition. Now go back down to your timeline panel and duplicate your background layer by just selecting it and pressing Control or Command D. And then let's drag the second duplicated background layer above our green screen layer for a second here. And then go to your effects and presets window and search for set matte. And just go ahead and apply that to your duplicated background layer. And then go to the effects control window and set that take mat from layer to our green screen composition that we just pre-composed. You'll see in our preview window that we have an outline now of our green screen footage. And if I solo this top background layer, you'll see exactly what's going on here. Now let's search for one more effect over in the effects and presets window, and we're gonna search for channel blur. And just go ahead and apply that also onto that top background layer. Then in the effects control window, just go ahead and raise that parameter for alpha blurriness. I'm just gonna go to about 65 here. Then select that set matte effect in the effects controls window and just press command D to duplicate it and drag it below the channel blur effect. Next, go to that top set matte effect and click on invert matte. And what you'll see here is now it's just an outline, which is exactly what we want. So we can overlay it on top of our green screen footage to blend in the edges and make it feel that the lighting from the room is hitting the edge of our subject. I'm going to go up to our fast blur effect up here and just raise it up quite a bit so that we don't have any more detail in our edge blur here. Then I'm also going to raise this alpha blurriness under channel blur a little bit as well. Now let's unsolo the layer and see what we have. Now to sell this even more, I'm just going to go over to this blend mode over here and turn it to screen. And then we can also press T on our keyboard with this layer selected and adjust the opacity to kind of blend it in and make it look like it's not just glowing. And now when I disable it and re-enable it, you can actually see how much it's doing to help blend this entire green screen composite together. So that's one of the best techniques you can do to really help sell your green screen composite. So I'd really recommend taking the time to do that if you do have the time. Anyways, guys, that's all for this video. That's how you achieve a super clean green screen effect in After Effects. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, please remember to leave a like. And don't forget to comment, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And until next time, guys, peace out.